Alright, welcome back to Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc. We are going on episode 9. We have just landed here in the Tower of Leptus. So, we are going to confront Andre at the summit of the tower. So let's get a move on here. Climb this. Now, there's going to be a ton of hoodlums here. Just be a lot of uh, fights and then some wide open kind of interesting platforming going on so it's a good area I would say a strong finish to the, to the game see a hard hitter gate there oh come on camera come on camera so hopefully one of these subs will have a uh, combat fatigue for us should be spawning here. Yep. Sorcerer here, so we'll take these guys down. There's going to be a lot of sorcerers that we're going to end up fighting. Fire on these hoodlums here. Oop, got me. Yeah, so towards the end here, they're just like, alright, let's let's throw everything we got at the player. Let's throw them tough enemies. Lots of them. Thank got this uh, there's no canary in there. So coming up here, this is going to be a tough room. Lots of annoying enemies to fight. So you can see we have three of these guys. The, uh, the floaters. As well as that big guy. But we don't have a uh, red combat fatigue to fight him yet. So, we'll see what happens here. I want to focus on taking out these guys first though. Thought I heard another of them spawn. I hear a Tinsy in here as well. I think if you try and attack him. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if a uh, sorcerer was going to spawn or something. Oh. Okay, I see the red combat fatigue over there. And now we need to switch. Not enough charge. I wish the red combat fatigue lasted just a little bit longer. Alright, there we go. 
so you think it's over, but it is definitely not. Perfect. We still only have one of those combat fatigues. I might fast forward to it. Sorcerer guarding a sorcerer. Well, this is very tricky because, as you can see, getting the camera to lock on is kind of tough. And also, that space is just terrible. Uh, sorcerer's done. I also like the sorcerer music. Okay. So now we face our shoe. And we might fast forward through so that's two. Alright. That went pretty well actually. Very spooky music. Very urgent sounding. Perfect. There we go. Reference to Dire Straits there. Points. Points are good. Okay.
Okay, so in this room, we're gonna have to make a climb, and the floor is gonna start filling up with lava. So. You've seen this one. You know the drill. Maybe I'm making a liar of myself. What the hell? I'm sorry? Okay. Finish inventing chocolate toothpaste. Run, Rayman, run! <laughs> You'll never be able to stop me from gaining the power of the left. Oh, we will stop you. We will stop Andre. Don't you worry. That'll be the end of the level. Okay. Plenty of fun enemies to fight. Guys, oh man, come on. There's all sorts of hidden goodies and extra stuff in this room too, but it is not a big deal to me. I just want to move along. Hoodlums over there They're fighting. I don't think we can do that yet. So we'll go up the spiral staircase. And we'll have to beat these guys. Okay. There's one. There's two. Beautiful. I don't know if we're able to get this guy or not. Those cages are Help. that cage is not a good indication. Help. Okay. Perhaps we'll get something else. Also, what's this way? Oh, this would probably help. Yeah, there we go. What? Hello? Hard hitter door. Hard hitter combat fatigue. Alright, well, we'll see what he's got. Might as well. And for some reason, the animation is gonna play. Like, this is the first time that we've picked it up. Perfect. That's alright. Look at me, I said I wasn't gonna go after the treasure. I said I wasn't gonna worry about all this stuff in this room. Breaking my promises to you. Come on, Rayman. There we go. Rayman, please.
spiral, but I'm curious, so I'm, I'm gonna walk to find out. But the camera is not cooperating. This camera is just crazy. It's where it's, what is like going on? Okay, there's nothing. Okay. Dirty trick. Did you got hit by that falling down? Okay, this must be the lava room. All right. get through that. Oh, Lord. Honestly, I'm sorry that you have to watch this game. See, there's a hook here at the end. Be 
always confused with that. Always hit them. Welcome. Okay. There's Tinsy there. We'll try. We'll try our best again. Okay, fine. Okay, maybe not. a trick. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting level. It's uh, just kind of gearing us up for the final boss where we'll be using this mechanic. Go box! <laughs> Admitted you were scared. Wanna lift? So this cannon is very confusing. It doesn't know how to shoot where I believe it should. It resists being controlled. It kind of like sprays around randomly. So even though we are trying to hit, it just says no. Oh, there's gonna be so much fast forwarding. Check out these gears, remarkable! Andre's already the heavy machinery. What a precocious child! Wow, check out Andre's place. Think of the party potential. Andre, can you hear me? Roloff is really cool. He could use a few more windows, though. Andy, Uber has it. You're about to summon the mighty Tetris. Say it isn't so! Andre, buddy boy, I know it's fun, but you gotta stop being a bully. Woo, here come Andy's cows again! I know you can hear me. Stop being a bad boy. Come back to the 
good side. Hey, man, looks like you found the flusher. Mmm, it even smells good. Very impressive. This system oh. looks pretty efficient. Doesn't leave anything behind. Right. Very nice. Wow, Reflux! You're so big and strong! Yes, Andy. With the energy from your mighty scepter, I will be able to reproduce infinitely! <laughs> Okay, so, uh, we're on to the final boss. Ray Flux, the Canarin that we defeated in the Desert of the Canarin, has fused with the power of Leptus, and now he has transformed, and they are going to use the power of Leptus, which is like this ancient Canarin god or something, to give Andre the power to multiply infinitely, so we are going to go put a stop to that. This is a tricky boss. Um, there's a lot of pattern that he puts down, like predictive pattern, so, like that right there. So first thing that we have to do is we have to grab the blue uh, combat fatigue, lock on, and then we have to electrocute him and avoid these bubbles. He has that shield, so once he has the shield and it breaks down, then we can grab the red combat fatigue and then target the boss and we try our best not to get hit and then after a while he will uh, get tired of that and then he will go back to this and then we will charge the shield down and then we will avoid the uh, we'll avoid getting hit or do our best to avoid getting hit and then he'll start doing this and then yeah we have to use the red ones because like he backs it off but if we use the red ones then he gets hit so that's the deal. This is gonna take This is gonna take a long time. So So sit back and enjoy. So now that we've done a little bit of damage. You can see that his attacks are getting faster, but because they are faster, it's almost easier to read because you can like see the path that it's taking. So if you kind of just spam the directional button, we'll never get hit. Alright, that's the end of phase one. So now he will stick the spike in his back. He'll grow huge. So he'll have a uh, swipe and he'll have like, a smash down. And we have to avoid them. So we can go to the other side of the arena. We'll grab a hook, which will allow us to fling up and grab that red. And also, if we die, we have to start all the way from the very beginning. Whoops. This path, I, or this like, pattern I've always found tricky. So, basically, though, when you're up top, he'll swipe. So, but if he's down below, he'll always, if you're, let me rephrase. If you're down below, he will always do a ground pound to try and get you 
to get flung up, and then he'll do a grab. But if he's about to start an attack animation while you're on like a higher platform, then he'll do a grab. So you always want to be in one of the lower sections when he goes to start like an attack animation. There, I said it. Okay, so now we've got the blue combat fatigue. We will just make our way over. Okay, so now he's put down these spikes, but they're not gonna make a difference to us. Now he does that big fist move, and he's tired. So we have the red combat fatigue, and we'll run up here, and then we'll just get as much DPS in as we, uh, as we can. All right, that was pretty good. All right, and then it's rinse repeat. So like before, he'll do more attacks more often, but that's more or less the fight. Alright, this fight so far has gone pretty well. Hopefully this will be the last round here. Alright, perfect. So now we will enter yet another phase. So with this, um, he's going to separate the ground, and then we have to get yellow combat fatigue to fly up, to get the orange combat fatigue to shoot the staff that's now on his back. So, let's start climbing and we will find the yellow combat fatigue, which will allow us to fly. Now we can't miss any of these, or we are going to, oh God, we'll eventually run out of time. Like, these platforms will fall. Yeah, if you can see that one is falling. Okay, so far so good. Okay, we have to dodge those two. I forgot about that attack. Okay, I see this one here on the other side. I don't know if we're going to get it, so we'll just be safe and get the combat fatigue again. Okay. This one's kind of far away. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Can we make it? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm not only... Con I'm not necessarily concerned about, like running out of health, but I am concerned about falling off of a platform and then having to restart the whole entire fight over again. That would be a mega big bummer. Okay, I see the orange combat fatigue over there. Oh, just in time. Hopefully we make it. Hopefully we make it. Hopefully we make it. Okay, it seems as though we have made it. So now all we have to do is shoot that. The game is very good to us this does it for us. That was very tricky. Okay, he's got wings now. So, we had to do that mission with the bike and the shooting. We're back to that. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna shoot these red... Okay, well... Moving on to the next phase. So he's going to shoot these red, um, like, glowing things at us, and we have to shoot those. And then he'll have a shield that surrounds the staff on his back. And we have to shoot it down quickly, and it regenerates. The fastest way, also, now, is to mash box, because I don't think hold, yeah, holding it is not doing anything before. So we have to mash the box, or the B button, in order to get it to... So, he's not even hurt. Each round, to even knock him out, you have to uh, shoot the absolute heck out of this thing twice. The shield also regenerates, so that's fun. Um, there we go. So now that he's charging. And now he'll shoot out all of these hoodlums, and that's like his life force. So we will float around and try and bomb as many hoodlums as we possibly can. 
and the more of them we get, the less life Andre will be able to regenerate. Yep, so they're all walking towards Andre. That was a terrible shot. So we'll try and shoot the hoodlums in their highest concentration here. I'm trying to shoot as fast as I can. It's not going perfectly. Okay, that's a good one. Maybe we'll get one more. A few more. Okay, I would say that was pretty good. We got half his health. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, that was not too bad. Alright, so same deal. Rinse, repeat. He'll shoot more bombs at us faster, and the shield will regenerate quicker. But other than that, it's the same old fight. Very good. So now all that's left is one single black lung. No! Don't touch Andre himself. Me! No! No! Glowbox! Help me! I'm scared! No! Yeah! Yay, me! And we'll use the power of Leptus to convert Andre into a red lung. That's the game. Hey, we're back where we started. Looks like we get a full night's sleep after all. Hey, what's the matter, Glowbox? It's Andy. I miss him. You know, he's happier now. Look at the red lungs. How happy they seem. I don't care. I want my Andy. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Besides, I wouldn't know how to do it. You have to scare a red lung. Ooh, I hate to imagine what could possibly scare a lung. Well played. Okay, perfect. So, uh, this game used to have a feature called Lums Race, and if you entered that code, you could uh, put your score onto, like, Rayman's, like, fan page and track your score. Pretty cool.
Yeah, this was a childhood game that I had growing up on the GameCube. Uh, I beat it many times, played through it many times with my brothers and my cousins. Uh, Cherish Classic. And I'm happy to have this one in the books. So, uh, without further ado, this has been another Let's Play by Mitch Keen. And I will see you in the next one.